Joining me now, however, is Yevgeny Kislov, a Russian journalist and TV host who moved to Ukraine in 2008 because he said working in Ukraine allowed him to be a true political journalist. In 1995, he received an International Press Freedom Award from the Committee to Protect Journalists for his coverage of the war in Chechnya. Thank you very much for your time, Yevgeny. You've described yourself as being one of the first victims of Vladimir Putin's policy towards the media after the Russian leader came to power. What exactly happened? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, on the first work day after being inaugurated in uh, 2000, year 2000, um, Putin's uh, special forces, um, FSB police, uh, had a raid uh, on my television company downtown offices in Moscow. You know, uh, almost a hundred uh, Balaklava-clad uh, fighters uh, of this special unit of FSB uh, attacked our uh, office. And uh, as a matter of fact, it was uh, the start of a, a more than year-long campaign to uh, overtake uh, the first uh, and the last independent uh, privately owned uh, television station, NTV. Actually, that was uh, the beginning of Putin's presidency. First day of his uh, being in office, 7th of May, he was inaugurated. On the first working day, uh, he started Operation NTV. And that was 22 years before uh, the start uh, uh, of the war in Ukraine. And, and what prompted you to move to Ukraine in 2008? And what was the difference like between operating as a journalist in Russia versus operating as a journalist in Ukraine? Well, uh, as a television journalist, as a television anchor, I, I didn't have uh, any chance to continue working uh, in my profession in Russia by the year of 2008. Um, may I remind you that uh, that was the end of uh, Putin's second term and the year when uh, Russia attacked Georgia. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, media situation was more or less free. At least I, I started to work there. Uh, to present uh, uh, a daily uh, news and current affairs political show. Uh, and I'm still working uh, in Ukrainian television, as, as you may see. And, and since the war in Ukraine began, you've been labelled a foreign agent by the Russians. Could you just spell out what that actually means in terms of the impact it's had on you and those closest to you? Well... Um, on the one hand, uh, this is uh, a ridiculous story because, uh, uh, well, they know in Moscow, in the Kremlin, uh, that uh, I am out of the country for many, many years, almost a decade and a half. I am not uh, living and working as a journalist uh, in Russia. And uh, in that sense, uh, it, it, it is really ridiculous because um, they can declare uh, any uh, foreign journalist as a foreign agent. You may be declared foreign agent in, in, uh, if you follow the same logic. But uh, and, uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, I, am, I am proud uh, that they finally uh, declared me enemy of the state because, yes, I am enemy of this Putin's... Uh, I perfectly well understand that... Uh, they are not after me. Uh, they are after my relatives, probably. Uh, uh, they, they are trying to punish me, to vindicate me, uh, to put pressure on me, because the new legislation on foreign agents allows the so-called affiliated persons uh, to be prosecuted uh, and punished. I just want to ask you, finally, Will we ever see independent media rise again in Russia, do you think? Well, I sincerely hope that uh, this day may come. And I sincerely hope that uh, this day may come soon. But I'm a realist. And I think, realistically thinking, um, it will take years, or probably decades, uh, to rebuild the system of independent journalism that was completely 
destroyed uh, by Putin's regime. Yevgeny Kitslov, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much again for your time. Thank you.